took a little bit of my heart. I stuck it out for 46 years, but this is the last year. I don't want to see that river again in the spring. If it floods that place again, well, I won't be there to, for it to flood. I lost too much there. Lost lots of memories, pictures, the whole works. I took nothing, just a few clothes and a suitcase and my guitar. Otherwise, I left everything else, and everything went and ended up in a flood. I don't know if I want to stay in Fort Vermilion anymore. I I have to go where I can make a make a home for myself and my grandsons. That river done me in. I got nothing here. I got no home now. Forty-six years of blood, sweat, and tears, and we had a great time. We sang and we played our music. Boy played her accordion, I played the guitar, and we had lots of fun. But it's all gone now. I feel devastated. You know, like my life is upside down, as do my husband and my mother. I mean, this was our ancestral home. My great-grandfather built part of this home. And so I feel like I've really kind of lost my roots. It's not possible to live here anymore, so that's, that, that makes it more difficult. Um, this was supposed to be our forever home. We'll be leaving a lot behind of ourselves. where we have to move away because there really isn't much housing in Fort Vermilion. I don't think I could live here and not be on this place. It would just be too difficult to see what's going to happen to it because um, I'm hearing that no one will be allowed to live along the river in Buttertown. It's always been like family here in Buttertown. With no one living here, um, is, is Buttertown just going to be a forgotten place and a way of life? I feel sad that we're, we're losing that. I lived in Buttertown just about all my life. Born and raised there. Get up in the morning, I can grab my coffee and go outside, listen to the birds and everything. I'm not used to this living in town. 
you got 40 some years there, raising my family, everything's gone. One of the grandsons, he says to me, Papa, we don't have a home. Well, what does that mean? My mom and dad were both Métis and as well as their parents and I'm proud of that heritage. We lived on the land. You know, our parents taught us not only our culture but um, to learn to how to survive and I think that passing that from generation to generation and um, living that life is very important because our land is all we have. And there's days you know, I say, okay, you know, get me out of here. You know, I, I don't think I can do this again. It's too hard. To I've got a beautiful yard. Uh, I want to stay. I, I love this place. It's quiet. It's serene. Um, I love Fort Trimillion. I don't know. I don't think I will move. This is my home. And it, it, it will always be my home. I will build you a castle, my raven-haired girl. I will give you my reasons why I'm alone in this world. Far away from everything that I have ever known. I just want to go back. Would you say? I belong over there.